Sam Hayne, and I'm a batsman. Sam, what's been the proudest moment of your Warwickshire career so far? Um, I think the proudest moment of my career so far has been my debut. Um, I don't think it came this early um, last year when it did. Um, so, you know, I was very happy, so I think, yeah, no, the proudest moment is probably my debut. Who is your cricketing hero? Um, it's hard to point out one. I think he's not going to let me say this, but I do look up to quite a few here. I think Trotty and Belly. Um, it's fantastic to be a part. You see young, young lad coming through, trying to look up to people like them. So I think Trotty and Belly, and obviously back home in, in Australia, I think Michael Clark. Uh, I always enjoyed watching him. What are your pre-match superstitions? Um, I don't have many actually. Um, I try and be relaxed as possible. Um, as Pete said, I am. I do think I'm a bit of a, a bit of comedian. Um, so I try and tell tell a few bad jokes um, to try and keep it calm. But yeah, no, just try and keep calm as possible. Who is the biggest joker in the Warwickshire dressing room? Um, apart from apart from um, Clarky, I'd say. Ooh. I'd say Richard Jones. You are going out for a meal, would it be steak and chips, Indian or Chinese? The same chips. Should it come dancing or X Factor? X Factor, easily. Take that or One Direction? It's got to be One Direction. Soco Builders Warehouse is where the trade go. Who do you think would make the best tradesman in the Warwickshire squad? Um, Keith Barker. And finally, what are your hopes for both yourself and Warwickshire in 2015? Um, I think obviously continuing from last year as a team um, and as a squad, I think we have a lot of good players here. I think the main aim for this year is hopefully win more trophies. Um, so yeah, no, we'll take one step at a, one step at a time. Uh, we've had a good winter, obviously it's full steam ahead for this year.